they are able to give us dealers the power of actually deploying AIA. So in this case, it brings back power to the dealer in order to deploy ads in a very large and you know competitive marketplace. Okay, I think I might be at one of the most fun booths at NADA. If you can see all the foam fingers in the back, the jerseys, it just brings me right back. You chose green, which is a great choice. Why did you pick green? You know, I couldn't even tell you that. Uh, our designer and like lead CTO and uh, isn't here, so but he said it was a hot color and it was new at the time that we created the logo. So I was like, he's probably a Jets fan or something. No, no, I'm a well. Hey, how about this? I'm a Dallas Stars fan, so and I love hockey, so we kind of went with that. But I, I actually was uh, talking to Kyle before we did this, and I sent him all the proofs of this because I went off the Nashville Predators Stadium Series jerseys, and it says Smashville. And then it had their logo right in the middle. And I sent him this and I was like, I'm gonna do this for our jerseys. And you did it. And he did. And he's the actual one that gave us the idea for the foam fingers. He goes, dude, if you're gonna do the jerseys, you might as well go all out, get some foam fingers or something crazy like that. And I'm, absolutely. Well, I think it fits your brand, very creative. Um, <laughs> as we like to do, we have an actual dealer person here. Um, <laughs> can you explain, uh, introduce yourself and tell us what your role is at your store and tell us a little bit about your store? Yes, so my name is Carolina Pereira. I worked at Weston Nissan Volvo and Plantation Ford as well. Um, we are a dealership in Weston, Florida, and my role would be anything that has to do with marketing, technology, um, anything IT related, anything that's a new project, a new process, that's what I do at the dealership. Our kind of people, exactly. for sure. Um, so you're at the show. Is this your first NADA show? No, this is my second. Okay. And what do you feel? Was your first one two years ago when it no, was here? No, no, no. Actually, it was the, the one last year, and it was all digital because of COVID. Oh, okay. So it's your first time on the floor. For sure. Okay, what is your take on the energy of dealers and vendors? Like, what do you what do you feel when you're on the floor? So I think it's it's a lot of energy, and I feel like it's also a good refresher of what's going on in the industry. And I think that every year, you know, you see something a little bit different, and where to, where the industry is kind of going, you know. So um, that being said, you obviously you're spanning marketing and technology, right? Which is very common, right? Marketing and technology these days go. That's why they made a word, right? Martech. <laughs> um, so. How are you leveraging AET's technology to actually increase your marketing efforts? Yeah, so Jeff here, he knows me at this point. I've worked with him in different stores because um, I've been with different dealers um, during my professional career. And he knows I am extremely picky about everything that I do and with technology. In this case, AET, something that I thought was totally out of the box and something that other do, other um, products like his are, is not doing is um, what it's called AIA, which is kind of the new way of doing marketing in Facebook. Um, and they are able to give us dealers the power of actually deploying AIA, which is not you know usual because usually you need to be through an agency. So in this case, it brings back power to the dealer in order to deploy ads in a very large and you know competitive marketplace so when you said you're very picky yes. what does that what does that mean specifically uh, I am aggressive just like the auto <laughs> industry um, you know I'm an aggressive negotiator I'm an, an aggressive true. is that very true true yeah. <laughs> two times now she's I've been swindled but it's all right and she's a great client he's still smiling that. yeah <laughs> yeah no I'm, I'm just very picky with the vendors that I like to work with um, because I need responsiveness the, the industry is changing too fast the younger generation wants things kind of like a remote control type thing um, so they not only want to purchase online but actually I don't think that the consumer is ready for that. So what I mean is every week I need to be changing the strategy in terms of marketing and AET is able to provide that for me because I have the control over it and not an agency that I'm meeting once a month. So that's a great point. You know, there are a lot of shiny things all over, right? Every booth has their demo locked down. They have their sales team locked down and it all looks good on the show floor, but it really can break down quickly if the relationship isn't there, if the service and support isn't there. Um, you just mentioned it a little bit, but what has it been like working uh, with the AET e team? Uh, AET team, right? I can say that five times fast. Right. Um, what are the elements of working with the team that you really like? You said responsiveness, um, but what does that actually look like in your ecosystem and world? 
Well, so like I said, because I'm picky and because I need a, a team or a support team that is responsive and we do need these vendors at the dealership um, to respond to the different issues. And sometimes, I don't know, you have a technical issue that you need fixed right now. Sometimes even like two days ago. Um, and when you have a team like, um, like Jeff's, whenever I email them, whenever I need something in tech support um, or whenever I have a question about the product, I receive an answer within two hours, which is kind of like the time frame that I work with. Um, because if you send me an email, Usually, if I don't respond, it's because you know I saw it and I'm just waiting for the answer. But they are kind of like that too, um, which means not only that they're passionate about what they're doing, but also that they understand exactly what I need. There's nothing worse than submitting a ticket and being like, "You will receive an email response in 24 hours." Exactly. You're like, "No, right? What is going on here?" Okay, um, uh, Jeff. So why is that? a part of your culture, right? Obviously, you kind of set that in motion. Why are you so focused on that level of responsiveness? So, you know, we come from an agency background, right? And we and we created this product because of the gaps and holes that we saw at the agency level. And, you know, when it, we were ex, uh, running the agency or the product at the agency, it was 48-hour turnarounds, 72-hour turnarounds. There was a lot of, like, creative issues, right? But we didn't like that and it, it pissed off a lot of people. And you know, we thought computers could do a lot better job of like doing some of the work. But then we laser focus ourselves on make sure that we uh, to make sure that we take care of the clients to make them raving fans. And raving fans then spills over in this industry because let's all be honest, this is a industry of good old boys and gals and everybody talks to each other. That's right. And it's the best way to get our brand out there is develop raving fans across the board with A a great product and then B a great service. Or, sir, with great service, not. I, yes, yeah, I understand yeah. what you mean. Yeah. I think we know what we're talking about here. So, would you consider yourself a raving fan? Oh, yes, of course, but I don't like to tell that to vendors. But right, right. <laughs> I'm weakening her negotiating position yeah, as we go. speak, All and right. she knows it. <laughs> right. Um, if you could give one piece of advice to uh, marketing directors, tech directors on what they should be focusing on in 2022, as the, what piece of advice would you give them? I would say that even though everything is technology, you don't have to forget about the dealership and what is the experience like when you are in-house. Because a lot of, of, you know, every dealer, or every marketer right now is just trying to look, oh, digital, digital, digital. But then whenever the person is in-house, they're, they're not focusing on that either. So you need to have a good connection between digital and in-house experience. There you go. Well, as you can see, there's a great option for you here and there's a very tough picky negotiator that has recommended AET. Uh, Jeff, you and your team are just a pleasure to work with. You have a lot of energy coming into the show. So just want to thank you for giving us some of your time. Thank you for giving us some of your time. Enjoy your first NADA on the floor and uh, go, go really turn the screws to some of these vendors for us. <laughs> thank you.